once more into the breach, dear friends, once more, or hold up the wall with our English dead. In peace, there is nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitate the action of the tiger. Strengthen your sins, stiffen up the blood. Disguise fair nature with hard favored rage. And then lend the eye a terrible aspect. Let it pry through the portage of the head like a brass cannon. Let the brow overwhelm it as fearfully as doth a gullet rock or hang the jutty in his confounded base. Now, set the teeth and stretch the nostril wide. Hold hard the breath, bend every spirit to his full height. On, on, you noblest English. Dishonor not your mothers. Now attest to those whom you call fathers that did beget you. And copy men of grosser blood and teach them how to war. And you, good yeoman, whose limbs were made in England, show us here the metal of your pasture. Let us swear that you are worth your breeding, which I doubt not, for there is none of you so mean and so base that hath not a noble luster in your eyes. As you stand like greyhounds in the slip straining upon the start, the game's afoot. Follow your spirit, and upon this charge, cry God for England, Harry, and St. George!